just had uh, torrential rain and driving rain last night. Oh, winds 30, 45 miles an hour down here. Just unbelievable. Uh, we came in last night. We didn't even get here. It was it was after dark. So I haven't had a chance. And then I looked out this morning after all the wind we had last night. And uh, here, let me just turn this around. I looked out this morning. Well, the, hey, you know, it's It makes sense. You know, the wind was extremely high. And it was just enough to knock the stand down. And anyway, so I got to go fix that, and then we're gonna go get into the boat. Let me let's take you on down here for just a minute. Uh, yeah, just, this will show you how much rain we got last night. All right, the tarp looks great, right? But look at this. This is tied off. All this is full of rainwater down in here. It's just, <laughs> when I release that rope, I mean, there's going to be a lot of water that's going to empty out of there. Well, one good thing about it, it's held the tarp perfectly in position. It's kept a nice bit of tension on everything. But uh, i got to get that out. And, guys, I think it's been well over a month since I've been down here. And um, it's been up on Little Girl. And so we're going up today. I need to get up there, check for uh, leaks because of the, the deck and so forth. And... We'll talk to you about that when we get up there. But, you know, hey, uh, welcome back to another episode of Restoring Little Girl. Let's get below. Uh, not too bad. Feels damp down here, but it's not too bad. Oh, let's get this turned around. Down here. Uh, next step is to go ahead and, and check along the, the. We have a couple of uh, cubbies forward up here, and when uh, Ryan and I were working on this, uh, we noticed that uh, as we were trying to pry up some of the uh, the old fiberglass, uh, a screwdriver literally just went right through the deck. And uh, now I'm talking about uh, the lower part of the the substrate underneath the uh, uh, the coring, and we found out that where that was was actually inside one of the cubbies. So anyway, I'm just going to get in here and see if there's any water in there. I'm going to just check all over the place, you know, from up in the four up in the uh, yeah four four peak and, and the V berth, and uh, just see if we've got any kind of leakage. Because, but here's the thing. I double tarped the foredeck completely. In other words, it's completely jacketed into the big main tarp that goes over the whole boat, but it's got another brand new 8x10 tarp that goes over the foredeck. And it's pretty well wrapped, so I think we're going to probably find everything's dry. So anyway, let's go check that, and uh, then we'll kind of take a look around. I can see right now, see, is that? No, that's not it. I was looking for, um, I was looking for the... Um, uh, uh, the material, the brand new roll of uh, stuff that I had gotten to make to make uh, sail ties, and I'm not seeing it down here. Anyway, well, got to get to work. Let me see what we find. Okay, everything checks out. I uh, I looked all up through the V berth and and uh, in the cubbies, and everything's good and dry, no problem at all. Battery's still up to uh, 12.1, which is not great, but I haven't had the uh, the uh, yeah the solar panel out in dogs ages and uh, this is a good deep cycle battery that I bought just for little girl and uh, it's it's hanging in there pretty well all right next step I'm gonna get get busy and, and take a look around and see if I can't find that uh, that um, yeah sail tie material that I bought it should be here uh, and then the next step I'm gonna be down in the, in the basement uh, working on just finishing everything off to bring the new um, faucet, new hand pump faucet aboard and see if I can't get that installed this afternoon. Guys, I found it. <laughs> it was sitting right here on the starboard uh, quarter berth bench. And uh, so there it is. Uh, I am so looking forward to this. Uh, when I get home, I'm going to start cutting these. i got to study up about what the length is. I think every every um, one of these sail ties probably ought to be about three feet. I don't know. That's what I'm, that's what I'm guessing. But anyway, there it is. Um, 
finally, <laughs> it's been a bored little girl all the time. And I've been, there was been so many times I was thinking in the evening, I was watching a show or something. I said, man, I wish I had that stuff. If I did, I'd, I'd be cutting and, and sealing off the ends and all that kind of good stuff. So, hey, good news. I got it. It's going home. I'm going to immediately put it in my, uh, in my toolbox and it's going to go home with me and we'll get some uh, sail ties made before we come back down here. There is my water tank, and I didn't think to empty it, and now it's a block of ice in there. It's not going to hurt it. I think it's in great shape. Uh, it's a brand new gas can, which I've already, I've already showed you this in past episodes, okay? Uh, brand new gas can, never had gas in it, and it's all it's ever been used for is water. And it's, by the way, it's just going to be gray water anyway. I'm not going to be drinking out of this. So anyway, um, but I, I, I worked out on the attachment on the bottom of that. Here's the hose that the new, uh, the new hose fits down into. Uh, but in the meantime, what I've got to do, I've got to take this in the house and let this thaw out and get the water out of it. And uh, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be in where it's warm enough to get the uh, thaw all the ice and just get it cleared for the winter maybe just leave it in the house for the winter and that i can still test it inside i'll just you know put it in the tub or something you know put some water in it and uh and put the new uh, uh hose hitch up the new hose situation and uh, and test out the new faucet in inside without ever doing it out here and i think for the winter that's probably just the best bet so i'm going to go ahead and get this inside and i've got a little bit more work to do on the new hand pump and i'll show you that when we get inside Went to Home Depot tonight, and um, I have been through their stacks of, well, there's just tons and tons of all these uh, little adapters and, and fittings and all this kind of stuff. And, I, and before what I was doing was just, just looking at them, okay? Well, tonight I started reading what it said, and I have been through that, that whole mess probably two or three times before on different trips that we've had down here. And this time, I started reading and lo and behold, there was a 5 8 to 1 half inch adapter, and I couldn't believe it. For just $3, and there's the baby right there. That's all I needed. And that takes it from the 5 8 inch hose down to the half inch hose, and we're going to be good to go. And we won't have to be messing with this. Let me turn this around. be messing with tapering this at all. At all. No tapering to fit it inside of another hose. What we're going to do is just take... This half, half inch adapter goes up in here like that, and then that 5 8 ad adapter goes into our brand new hose, which is what I was talking to you about. Our brand new, uh, nice, flexible plastic hose like that, and we're good to go. A couple of hose clamps, boom, boom, we're done. You don't have to mess around anymore with... Um, with the whole idea of, of tapering that and putting it inside this old, very rigid, 50-year-old piece of hose. This is gone. It's going to be gone. This is all brand new stuff. Hey, guys, we're going to have a really decent, nice working uh, setup here that is just uh, so it's tons and tons better. <laughs> wow. One, one trip to Home Depot tonight where I just took the time to do some reading and looking at things, and it was all there. For the record, I didn't have my... By the way, this is three quarters. This is five eighths. I didn't have my heat gun with me, and uh, that's fine. I just got out my hair dryer. This is a really good hair dryer. I just heated that for probably a minute. And already I was able to just slide this over. I don't know if I can do it now because it's cooling off. But anyway, I was able to just slide this right over. It went on with no problem at all. This is the beauty of having a brand new, really nice, flexible hose. So tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow this is all going to come come together very, very nicely. Uh, I'll, I'll just take my... Uh, take it out there, get some measurements so I get an exact uh, a measurement from... Uh, from here up to the bottom where the, where the this this unit comes down through. I already cut this off. I don't need the taper anymore. And uh, I'll just use that with our, our new little fitting. Put a hose clamp on here, hose clamp on here, and a hose clamp on the other end of this where it comes and joins up with the, with the, with the fitting right here. So, hey, it's all going to work. I love it. I love it. Meanwhile, this is still a block of ice down in here. That's all right. Little by little, I'm able to pour it out. And 
eventually this is going to be empty. But in the meantime, I'm going to do one more test tonight. I just want to check this again now that I've got the um, this the the fitting all completely uh, rebedded and with a with a gorilla tape on it. I uh, just want to check it again. I, I know it's not going to leak because I, I tested it early, but I'm just, for my own sake, I want to try it again and make sure that we're good to go. Betty, this may look familiar to you, and you're thinking, well, you already posted this, but he put a new part on it. That little plastic thingy thing there hanging down, that's what is new that he just put today, and now it's going to work better and be more flexible. And is it working, Randy? It works. It works. Did you catch it down here? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It works. He doesn't trust me anymore. <laughs> I don't okay, I'm going to have to say goodbye. I love my wife. <laughs> and she did a great job. I, I just wasn't sure if I had it. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Now, it worked like a charm. There's no leaking. That was the main thing I was looking for. So it was right around here where I'd rebuilt this fitting and everything. Working like a charm. Uh, I got a hose clamp on here that I'm going to slide down tomorrow when I get the, this uh, new uh, fitting in. And uh, got two new hose clamps here. One to go on the elbow down at the tank. The other one to go on the uh, on the five eighths inside of this. And we should be good to go. So everything is all set up for tomorrow morning. And we'll uh, get out on the boat and uh, try to get this project uh, wrapped up and move on to something else. So hey. Working great. Okay, so I've got this all set up. Uh, I've got a lot of the curve out of this hose, um, and I've got a nice flat end on it. So I'm going to go ahead and, on video here, go ahead and, and heat the end of this hose, slide it over. I've already got the clamp in place on the hose, so all i got to do is slide it down. So let's get this done. was about all it needed so let's see how this goes keep in mind this is five eighths going over three quarters and you can see it is going on there beautifully beautifully get it down as far as possible please pass the flanges all right that's good I think that's about all we need and any more than that. That'll do it. We're on a, a completely over the flanges. I'm going to unscrew this a little bit and get the clamp on it and this is going to be good to go. And um, that this will be all the way from this up to my uh, the faucet that comes off from the uh, hose unit. Or the, excuse me, the uh, faucet unit. Hose that comes off from the faucet unit. Okay, let me go get a screwdriver and we get this clamp on and we're good to go with this part of the part of the project. So we're out here and ready to get going on the uh, faucet installation. And uh, I already have uh, my tank out here, which still has a bit of a block of ice in it. And the fact that I had to leave it out here for the last half hour means that it's frozen again. <laughs> but anyway, all we, all we care about right now is getting this back inside uh, underneath the cabinet and and getting our the length of our hose that we're needing to get up through there and uh, once i get that i'm going to have it long enough to where i can actually do an installation up above the countertop and uh, without having to be working underneath there so anyway so let me get this set up and we'll get run that up through and uh, see how much hose and then we'll cut it off and we'll get started on actually installing okay i've got the uh water tank situated right where I've had it all along. It's never moved all the time. I've been sealing with it and whatever. And uh, the hose is on there, clamped in place. And uh, I'm, I'm looking to make sure I've got no crimps. I'm going to see that that hose is a little bit weird right there, but it'll be all right. You know, it's not it's not closed. And then it'll, it comes all the way up nice and smoothly 
all the way up to right there. So what we're gonna do, oh, and let me just show you one more thing. And then when, uh, when I install the new unit, uh, I can go ahead and depress this all the way down to there, and there's no crimps. In other words, you know, as, as that new unit goes into place, uh, you know, the, the hose stays good and sound all the way down. And, uh, yeah, I think we should be good. I am going to cut this, this hose off as close to up here as possible, where we, I still have some hose to work with, uh, so that when I have to push, where is my unit, push, this unit down through, which is about another eight or ten inches, it's not going to crimp anything. So we may we may end up may end up having to rework it, but for right now that's the plan. So let me get started on this. All right, that went in like a charm. I have this stuff that mom didn't want in the house anymore. It was some old stuff. It's a almost like Vicks vapor rub stinking stuff, but you know what? It's Vaseline and it works. I put some of that on the uh, on the flange, stuck it down in there, no problem whatsoever. I have my uh, hose clamp ready to go on, and half the insulation is done already. So uh, let me uh, get to this, and uh, well, well, maybe I can set it up. So I I don't know if you need to see this anyway. Basically, the other end of this is going into there, and then the whole thing is going to get pushed down through, and we got some screws that are going to secure uh, the faucet unit with. The gasket uh, into place uh, once everything is uh, is hitched up. Okay, bump in the road for the moment. I've got to go get uh, my uh, some electricity run out here and my uh, uh, yeah hair dryer because this is much heavier hose and I really need to heat it a good bit. Plus, getting the Vaseline on the a lot more Vaseline on the end of this uh, um, this hose adapter and uh, once I get those two um, I think we're good to go but in the meantime time to go get some electricity out here and get my hair dryer so be back in a few Test number one, let's see if it goes on. Oh, gotta keep that on. I need that hose clamp in place. Like a champion, right on there, all the way down. Beautiful, beautiful. It's on, it's on. All I need to do is set that hose clamp and we're good to go. Wow, that work like a charm, baby. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay. Good enough. Well, there it is, guys. Our uh, hoses are very nicely joined. Uh, heated, shrunk into place, as it were. Clamped. We're good to go. So... I'm going to go ahead and let this go all the way back down in. Yeah, I'm not going to put the screws in until I test everything out, make sure it's, it's running right. And then, uh, and then the very last thing I'm going to do is put some uh, stainless screws into right here. Let me go ahead and push this down. Move it, move it, move it. There we go. Move it down in. Move it down in. Okay. That's it. That's it. Right down like that. Like that. Okay. And i got to do some arranging of the hose down there, make sure everything's not crimping. But uh, I, think, I think it's going to work. So I'll be back to you guys in just a minute after I check out the hose situation. Okay. Uh, I've got everything hitched up. 
it is not screwed down from above. In other words, the faucet is not screwed down to the countertop yet. But uh, I have pushed it, pushed that the uh, faucet down into place with the gasket under it. And I will say that I love the way that this is laying. This hose is looking really good, consistent all the way down. I don't see any crimps in it at all. And I think we're going to be good to go on this. Um, the next step is I've got to wait till my wife gets back because she's got my drill. And I can't drill the holes for the screws that hold the uh, faucet unit down until she gets back. And that's kind of a bummer. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we've made big progress here. Um, I'm tempted to just go get some hot water and throw it in there and just see if everything pumps it all right. But I want to make sure that uh, uh, I do that only when I'm at the very last bit so that I can, uh, when I'm done with the test, and everything's in place. I can go ahead and just empty this out. And it'll be empty for the winter. But everything will be hitched up. So anyway, that's that's the plan right now. I gotta go probably go grab lunch because it's lunchtime. And just wait till my wife gets back with the car. And I can get the drill out of the back. And kind of move on to the project. Okay. Well, we're back. Lunch is over with. And uh, I didn't, didn't realize it. But my dad had a perfectly good uh, electric. Not a, not a battery operated. Uh, Black & Decker drill uh, down there in the basement. So I got that one up here. I've got electricity out here already. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing set up. I've got some warm water out here to dump into the tank when I'm done. And we're going to just try to get this done very carefully. Uh, I want to make sure that the alignment on that gasket that I cut is perfect so that when I drill down through, uh, it goes right through the gasket right underneath the screw holes. And uh, that's my next project, and I'm not going to mess around with trying to film that because I just, I'm, I'm going to be super careful. All right, I'll get back to you in just a minute when we get this thing anchored down. Okay, I got this mounted. Uh, next step, since everything is already connected, is to get some water uh, in the tank down here and give it a test run, see if it's running, and then we're going to empty the water and we're going to be done. This project will be completely finished up uh, until springtime, so... Well, it finished up. Let's let's put it that way. Uh, so let me go ahead and, and get the water in there, and I'll, then we'll uh, make it make a test and see how it runs. All right, guys, test run. A little nervous about this, but uh, everything is hitched up. Let's just see if it goes. I don't know how much water is in that. There may not be enough water to get up into that elbow. There it is. Guys, it works. And that's it's running out of water right now. See, I don't have a, I put a, a half gallon in and that just barely covers the bottom. Guys, it works. <laughs> we are done. We are done. She has installed a brand new, brand new hand pump faucet and good to go. So, well, I'm, I'm loving it. Uh, you know, it's, been a lot of trial and error you know finally we got the parts of this finished out last night to where everything is hitched up properly and uh this is so it's all gonna work fantastic let me show you what we got down below here uh ba -ba -bum. hang on flashlight all right so okay there's the there's the hose coming down and it runs perfectly right down to the tank and I, I didn't have the lid on here. I'm going to, um, like I said, I'm going to be emptying all this water out as much as possible anyway. And uh, once that's out of there, uh, this is done till spring. I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, we'll just try to um, empty it and uh, and leave it. Like I said, this is a, a, a virtually brand new tank. Hardly been used at all for anything except water. And believe me, any water that freezes up there in this winter is not going to do any harm to it at all. It's a very, very rugged, uh, thick-walled tank, and it should be fine till spring. Okay, one last thing. I checked all, uh, all along the hose underneath uh, the, the unit itself. There are no leaks anywhere. So everything is good and tight all the way from here down to the tank. Uh, one last thing but, uh, besides that, underneath here... Uh, hang on, hang on, get some light under here. Uh, underneath here, what I did was to uh, hold that lever all the way back. And when I did, I watched all the water drain out of the unit. 
and that's what you want. Now, that way there's no water left in here because this is a priming, it primes itself. I don't know how it manages that, but it's probably got a diaphragm in there, whatever. The point is, I, I by holding the lever all the way back, I watched the water drain completely out of it, down the pipe, and back into the tank. And then I've, uh, like I said, there's just barely a little bit of water left in the bottom of the tank right now anyway. So that'll be fine till spring. We're good to go. This project is, a, this is, just call this a wrap. This, this works beautifully. Uh, all the work came together and uh, just really glad that, uh, uh, you know, finally all the effort has been worth it. Well, guys, we're going to try this with my cell phone. It usually kills the pictures, but we're going to try it. Um, uh, the, the finish up projects for this boat, uh, for this trip, are cleaning. This cabin is a mess because of just it hasn't been picked up in a while. So I'm going to clean the clean the cabin first, and then I'm going to clean the cockpit and the uh, and the lazarette because I mean we just got tree debris all over the place, and that's from the last trip. So I'm going to try to get this stuff cleaned up, and uh, we'll uh, do some before and after pictures, and that's about it. And uh, they get, that gets included with this video. So hey guys, you know uh, it's. Uh, one added thing, but it's got to be done. Well, that went a lot faster than I thought it would. Uh, this uh, You can tell this is winter mode in here. Uh, there's my traveler. And there's my tiller. And uh, table, anyway. It's just, like I said, everything's stored in here for the winter. That goes gets attached out, out in the cockpit during the summertime. And then I've already got this all swept, cleaned up here. And there's my new faucet, and we're good to go. The cabin is clean. That took about five minutes, but the the, the cockpit is the mess, and that's where I got to head right now and see how much we can get done. In, uh, uh, hopefully, about half an hour or so. I'm gonna get back inside and spend some time with my folks. Well, guys, it's a lot cleaner than it was. Uh, by the way, these uh, lines that you see uh, coming back to the cleats, port and starboard. Are hanging on to the back corners of the blue brand new blue tarp that I've got over the uh, fore deck of the boat to keep uh, moisture and water from getting in where we've cut it and uh, those will stay right there till uh, whenever we get around to working on that fore deck again for, but for right now uh, we've got a major little project uh, accomplished on this trip and everything's kind of cleaned up and uh, looking a lot better so yeah I'm ready to let it let it go for now and uh, we may do a quick uh, goodbye a little bit later but good to go all right guys well we're getting ready to head back to vermont and uh thankfully this time i brought my sail tie material with me that whole roll that i bought a while ago and i'm uh, gonna get some sail ties made and when we get back i've got uh, a sail cover to uh, uh to put piece together from an existing sail cover that my brother gave me that is three feet short and uh and the uh, the sail cover that ryan gave me and i'm going to be uh, kind of uh piecing it together and making it look good and, and trying to give me something serviceable that's going to work aboard little girl with my 10 foot boom anyway hey guys thanks for stopping by restoring little girl we're out of here got to get headed back to the hills of vermont take care bye